Press start. Everyone, Dan here. Welcome back to another video where today we are back in Crazy Craft. Sorry, it's been so long since the previous episode. I will upload this more because you guys absolutely love it. Well, today, as you can see, I logged into Crazy Craft. I was like, what shall I, what shall I record today? And why is my door open? I, I didn't really think that, but my door is open for some reason. I have no idea why. But behind me is a pink little structure thing. People have been building my house again. I haven't even had a chance to set things up, so let's just go straight into this. Who has been building in my house? There's a book. There's a Zooniverse VIP ticket. Okay, that sounds pretty awesome. Why is my door open? Close. Close right now. There we go. Behave door. Right. Uh, we have a full inventory. Of course, we always have a full inventory. So let's just shove some of this stuff away that we don't need. Uh, there's so much stuff. So much stuff. Right. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm good. Right. Let's see what on earth is going on here. Let's put Cecil in the inventory just for a second. And boom. There we go. Nice. Let's have a look. Where, where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. <laughs> Whenever you punch something out of an item frame in my house, it just kind of like floats away. It's like I have a different gravitational pull in my house. Right. Zooniverse boy is from Fancy. Okay, James has been up to something. Greetings. You have been randomly selected to win one of only two exclusive tickets for the grand opening of the Zooniverse. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. What are the odds of that? Well, 50%, but... I'm, st I'm still feeling pretty lucky right now. Simply take your ticket to the main entrance. That universe is a multi-biome walkthrough adventure where you can join the animals in their cages for a unique close-up experience of nature at its finest. You are welcome to explore how you wish, but for maximum enjoyment, I recommend entering the red door last to properly experience what the Zooniverse has to offer. You are welcome to pet the animals, but if you see any ants, then please refrain from feeding them peanuts. <laughs> Sorry, I'm always feeding them peanuts. That works, by the way. Definitely works. So James has set up something. Uh, let's plop that back in there in case we lose it. And we need the Zooniverse ticket. Look at this. It's a VIP ticket and I won it. I won it. I was so lucky. <laughs> right, uh, I guess we should just go straight over there because I feel like an adventure today. So I'm guessing the Zooniverse is this thing over here, which we kind of took a sneak peek inside when it was being built, which is it's a good thing we didn't go in there later. And oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> it worked. The duplicated tree is a dream. Look at this. It's, it's even duplicated the torches. That is amazing. That is so amazing. Look at this thing. Oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> we went from one block of diamond to 16. We gained 15 diamonds from that. Right, I'm putting another thing down there. And we're duplicating torches as well. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's so good. That's really good. I didn't expect it to be that awesome, but hey, it is, and I ain't complaining. It doesn't look like it's worked on this one so far, but hey, we'll leave them just like this and see if it decides to duplicate this one instead. But um, because the server runs in the background all the time, that is so awesome. We have got so many diamonds now. Look, it just happened. It just happened right in front of our very eyes. That is awesome. Right, let's go ahead and go to the Zooniverse. This is looking really cool, all open and stuff. I need to challenge myself to do a big build next because I think I'm the only one who hasn't done one because Justin did the prank, which was pretty awesome and annoying. But James, James has done this, which is pretty incredible. And I have to have my golden ticket out. There we go, VIP ticket. Look at this door. Very nice. Everyone can see in though, right? Hello. <laughs> This is awesome. Look at this. That cactus is amazing as well. This is incredible. Hello, sir. How are you? How are you doing? Um, hey Dan TDM. Hello. Uh, you can say anything else, Nigel? Nigel, you can say anything else? Do you want this? Oh, this ticket is valid for the following destination. Destination Zooniverse admits one. It's a legit golden ticket. That's so awesome. I love that. Hey Nigel, you're gonna say anything else? Are you okay? No, I think he's okay. Right, uh, I guess we're just gonna go straight in. I have got a ticket. I promise you, Nigel. I promise. I'm gonna go in, though. Right. What is going- Is this a gift shop? Is this actually a gift shop? Look how many things are in here. This is awesome. A stuffed spider, but it's got purple eyes. This is really loud, by the way. <laughs> really loud. Um, we've got a tiger over here. A stuffed cow. 
Oh my goodness, this is this is so good. This is so good. I love this. Right, let's have a look at this. Welcome to the Zooniverse. Journey around in the biomes to get up close and personal. I'm gonna add that in. With nature at its finest. Enjoy. So they told me to go through the red door last. Um oh. It's given us some kind of trivia as well. Did you know butterflies can taste with their feet? I did not know that. Penguins have knees. I didn't know that either. They only have tiny legs. How do they have space for knees? An octopus has three hearts. That's pretty greedy. I wonder how many the kraken has. Um, and turtles can breathe out of their butt. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Is that true? Is that true? I need to Google that next. Is that true, Mr. Ocelot, huh? Is that true? He seems to think it's true. Um, what does this say? Quiz answers. Oh! There's answers. Okay. We need to look out for these. So the first one is, how many knees does a spider have? Uh, how many muscles found in a cat's ear? Okay, what kind of things are these? Uh, did you know? Right, more did you know facts. Despite white fur, polar bears have black skin. I did actually know that. Sharks lay the biggest eggs in the world. Okay, squirrels can't burp. Oh, man. I feel sorry for the squirrels who can't burp. That would have been incredible. Uh, giant Arctic jellyfish have tentacles over 36 meters. That is pretty incredible. Maybe they are what Krakens come from. Um, right, the Twilight Zone. We need to visit this one last. So let's start all the way from... Uh, is this the first door? Let's go in the green one. Paradise Gardens. Hey, look at all this. We've got a peacock, a butterfly. This is very, very nice. Indeed. Whoa! You are loud. Um, hey, buddy. How are you doing? <laughs> he just he just closed his feathers for a second. You okay? Do I do I touch you? Are you okay? I can pet the animals. I don't want to. I don't want to punch the animals though. Oh, what's this? Are they laying eggs? Oh, I got peacock eggs. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm stealing from the zoo. Thank you for your eggs, kind peacock. I will be out of here now. No, <laughs> I need to be careful not to let any animals out of their cages. Jeez, I'll be in big trouble. Uh, Savannah Plains. What is in here? Whoa, Bambi. Hey, Bambi, how you doing? Sorry about your mum and stuff. Uh, real sorry about that, but um, this is very nice. Look at that with the sun pouring in the window as well. All of this glass is incredible. And this is just air. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to. Do oh, wait. It didn't even break. Did it? I have no idea. I might have I might have slightly broken it. Um, We should be... What kind of sound is that? You sound like a Tamagotchi. You sound so strange. <laughs> anyway, oh look, that squid is dying in water. I have no idea why. That's very strange. Will you stop making Tamagotchi sounds? I am out of here. Where is the door? There we go. Right, let's move on to the next one. I need to get some of these glass doors. They are so incredible. Like, James's building skill is is too high. It's way too high. It's over 9,000. I need to up my game. I need to up my game incredibly. James should make a map. <laughs> Definitely. Right, Enchanted Forest. Let's have a look in here. We have golden apple. No, crystal apple cows. Oh, hello. Oh, something's dying. Something's dying. Something's dying. Oh, what's that? A fairy? No way. Oh, there's a zombie. <laughs> Die quietly, please. That duck is taking him out. Jeez. Uh, right, I think we've come across some of these crystal cows before. Might even have been in the very first episode of Crazy Craft, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, look at these. Oh, hey, little owl. How are you doing? Oh, you are so cute. That's my favorite one so far. This is so cool. Right, we're going into what looks like a desert area now, the dunes. Let's have a look in here, shall we? Oh, oh, is that poop? No, it's a rock. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We can step on those. Right, look at this. Sandstone scribbles. That's so cool. Hey, ostrich. Nope, Kosawari. Hey, Kosawari. How are you doing? That's an ostrich. You look very angry. Where'd his head go? You look very angry indeed. You got them blood red eyes, that very sharp beak. I'm a little bit scared of you. Not gonna lie, but this is a very peaceful little place as well. I like this. Right. Is there another section or are we going straight into the twilight zone? I think we're going straight into the twilight zone. I'm a little bit worried. Not gonna lie. Oh, what's in here? Whoa! So many plushes. I want to buy one. I really want to buy one. <laughs> I don't want to steal one, though. I don't know what kind of currency they use here. Uh, Nigel, can you help me out? Nigel, Nigel, what kind of currency do you use here, buddy? Can you tell me? No, no, we can't. <laughs> okay, right. We're going into the Twilight Zone. Here we go. Um, Not sure how I feel about this. Uh, Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> uh, this is a little bit worrying. Can you hear that sound? Some weird sounds going on. There's cobwebs, there's leaves, gravestones, gravestone 2. So it's the upgrade for the original gravestone. Oh, this is a bit scary, but I'm going down anyway. I've got some peacocks to keep me um, keep me safe just in case. You are now entering 
the Twilight Zone. This reminds me of like a Disney ride or something. It kind of like sets the theme before you, oh, what's that? Is that air? Oh, oh, that's, oh, hello. Hello, you, um, Kyubi. Kyubi the nine-tailed fox, whoa. That is amazing, look at you. I want that surround. How do I live with that surround of red? That awesome laser thing around me. How do I do that? You kind of look like you're from Dragon Ball Z. You're kind of cool though, not gonna lie. And then we have a Triffid. Big, green, and kind of mean. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I love this solid air. Can you craft it? Let me have a look. I really want to know this. Solid air. Uh, solid air. You can. So you need camouflage placed and blaze powder. This is really cool. I like it. Driffids, I've killed many of you and let one of you disappear, but it's fine. But it's fine. Let's move on. I love that you can have it kind of just over darkness. So cool. So cool. Right. Uh, the chest of destiny. Strange in color, but may contain treasure. A leech chest. It's got hot dogs. Did you see its mouth? Did you see that? Look, ready? <laughs> that's awesome. It eats hot dogs. Tasty. I'm not going to eat it because I don't want to eat something that's been inside a chest with a mouth, but... It seems pretty cool. Anyway, and this right here, a spit bug. Ew. Yeah, that's a good description. <laughs> I was going to spawn one of these in last time. I'm kind of glad I didn't because it's got gross stuff in its mouth. Very gross. But uh, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. I need to be very careful not to punch anything because I did that last time and I, I broke it. So, <laughs> And these guys are mean. What is this? Um, yeah. Hello? Hello? A WTF. I want to see your face a little bit closer. Excuse me, sir. This is your butt. What a very nice butt you have. But can you turn around? He looks kind of peaceful. What is that? It looks like he has kind of like a villager nose. Oh, there he is. You are making very strange Tamagotchi sounds. Was it you that was making the sound? It might have been because we are underneath uh, the, the, the place where we were before. So nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. You would fit in with the villagers. Um, exit. Oh, that was awesome. That was so awesome. This, the way this place looks as well. It's incredible. So incredible. I love this. I want to live here. Kind of. <laughs> no! Uh, every good story has a twist. Oh, jeez. The anti-block. What is an anti-block? I'm going to look this up as well. Anti-block. Uh, uh, anti-block. Oh, jeez. I have no idea. That's scary. Black anti-blocks. Can you craft them? You can. Somehow, with black dye. Oh, geez, this is creepy. Every good story has a twist. But my finest exhibits you may have missed. I hope you did enjoy the zoo. Uh, do I want to go through here? I'm under the lake right now. But my finest exhibit all this time is you. What? Is that a ghost? Uh, here, O'Brien. Hello, buddy. Uh, nice to meet you. I've never really met you before. Um, nice to meet you. You're much more see-through than I thought you would have been. Look! He's planned this all along the Zooniverse. Oh, my goodness. This is so creepy. Uh, Hero Brian, would you like a peacock? There you go. So, was he the one that gave me the golden ticket? He might have been. He actually might have been. Oh, my goodness. This is so creepy, but so cool at the same time. Is James here, O'Brien? Can I sit in this? Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh, I, I won't try and sit in your chair again here, O'Brien. Right. I'm out of here. This is a little bit creepy. I'm definitely out of here. Let's go. Um, is this the right way? I want to go out. I want to go out. I want out. I want out. I want out, please. <laughs> that was so cool. Right. Let's have a look at the quiz answers as well. Where did the book go? Oh, jeez. This anti-gravity matter. Maybe it's Herobrine causing all this anti-gravity shenanigans. So, quiz. How many knees do spiders have? I'm going to say 16. Uh, how many? Oh, jeez. It's on the wrong way around. Right. Let's just go through the answers anyway. A cat has 32 muscles in each ear. That's pretty impressive. And how many knees does the spider have? That's 48 knees. That's pretty impressive considering we, the humans, only have two. We need to up our knee game. This place is incredible. I need some ideas of what to build for the guys and uh, build it next time because the Zooniverse. That was phenomenal. I love that. That was so cool. What is this doing? Just a floaty little block. I think that's the only remnant left of the old village <laughs> that we destroyed. And I don't feel bad about it at all. Look, it's all gone. It's all gone. So, James, my goodness, you have outdone yourself. That build was insane. Or was it here, Brian? Who knows? But seriously, let's transform into my wasp self. 
Look at this place from above. You can see it on the map, but look at that. It's an actual piece. It's a piece of art. It's an actual piece of art. Very, very nice. James, good job, buddy. That is... That is amazing. <laughs> so you know what? For the rest of the episode, we have a little bit of time left. We have a little, little bit of time. Um, what I'm going to do is try and research some of these mannequins. Because I really want them. I really want some mannequins. And I need sheep to craft them. So, well, I need wool to craft them. Which means I need sheep. Which means I need your eggs, little bunny. I need your eggs. Do you have any sheep? you got chipmunks, spider robot, drivers... And whale. <gasps> whale? No way. Right, I want to spawn in this chipmunk. Go on, roam free. Roam free, little chipmunk. I'm going to spawn in this whale. <laughs> I want to see what's going to happen. It's going to be my pet whale. I might name him. Let me grab... Oh, I've got some of these... Uh, i got a zookeeper shard on me as well. I might keep this whale here. I should build a whale enclosure! That's my next one. That's my next one. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to build a whale enclosure and have a pet whale. That is going to be awesome. Uh, unstable ants. Those are actually quite handy. Uh, let me munch on some steak. This is going to be my whale pond. I have no idea how big they are, but I'm going to do it. Right. We have a absolute ton of stuff. Let me see if we have any sheep. If we have no sheep in this, it's, it's broken. It's so broken. We have no sheep. No sheep in this whole thing. Is that a joke? We have everything but. Um, I don't know what else would spawn or would uh, would drop wool. Um, T-Rex, whale. We have a lot of whales. I'm going to put those in there. Um, crab, Allosaurus, Gazelle, Spitbug. I don't know what else is going to spawn. Um, we have a girlfriend. <laughs> we have 13 girlfriends ready to go. 42 kings, 16 princesses, 25 princes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is insane. Right, uh, I need some sheep, though. I need some wool to actually craft one of these mannequins. How many do I need for one mannequin? I think it was, uh, how do I spell it? Mannequin? There we go. How many do I need? I just need an equipment cube, which costs eight wool. And it makes 16 equipment cubes. That's actually really, really good. Right, uh, I'm gonna go sleep. I'm gonna see if I can find a pair of shears and some wool. And I'll be right back. Oh, there we go. Right. Time to hunt some sheep. I could hunt them with this. <laughs> I need to be so careful with this. It's unreal. I'm just going to pop that in there for now. And then I'm going to make like a trophy room soon. Right. I got some iron for some shears. Let's go grab some wool. Um, I don't know where some sheep would be because I haven't seen any sheep for a while. But uh, let's have a look at the map. I'm guessing this kind of way is going to be the best. Because it's the plane, so let's go on a sheep hunt, shall we? And let's go in wasp form, because why not? Ooh, a firefly. I might actually kill this. Where did it go? Firefly? Did it just disappear? I wanted to kill it so I could get its flying ability. Um, Firefly, where did you go? I think he's gone. He's gone. Right, sheep mission. I need to find some sheep. <laughs> so many of you guys have tweeted me this. Look! These are the mannequins. Well, these are actually the baby mannequins, and they are so cute. Look at them. Look at them. They are so cute. Me and James in skirts. Very nice. And the duplicator tree is there for Justin. I don't know what's happened to this, but it looks kind of cool. I need to put my duplicator tree in something. What is this over here? What is this? Are these crates? Hello? Are you crates? You are reinforced oak planks. That must have been some kind of testing. Sheep, where are you? Hey. I see some. I see some. I got some. Nice. Okay, let's shear these bad boys. And snip. Snip. There we go. Nice. Right, we've got two. That's good. Give me three. Give me three. Go on. Be nice. Be nice. Go on. T Can I shear you, please? Can I shear you, please? What's going on? There we go. You gave me... You gave me a grand total of one. What's, what's the deal, sheep? What's the deal, huh? <laughs> right, let's see if we can find some more. I'm sure there's going to be some around here. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's another one of those. Oh, geez. I don't know if I want to go down here. No, no. Not getting distracted. I need to find some sheep. Oh, I spotted a lucky block. Hey, buddy. Please give me all different colors of wool. Actually, there is a lucky block that sprouts in all those sheep, isn't there? Um, ant nest, ant nest. All right, let's crack this open, shall we? Where's my ultimate axe? Where's my ultimate pickaxe? Do I keep switching them with my back? Where did I put it? Am I dumb? Am I dumb? What am I doing? Oh, yeah. I think I put it on my back. I don't know what I've done. Uh, let's try G. No, G doesn't work. Oh, geez, I've lost it. Okay, that's fine. Let's just break it. Ow! Ants, stop that. Stop that right now. Here we go. Open the bad boy. Come on, open. 
Open. There we go. Nice. Uh, oh. Oh. We got some tourmaline. Nice. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Whoa. Check out this village. I think we might have been here before, actually. Let's have a look. Uh, we might have done... This looks really cool, though. This is a really sophisticated village. Have you guys got any wool that I can steal from your precious, precious sheep? Uh, I'm gonna go into here, actually. Oh, what's that? Oh, is that where we originally came from? No way. No way. That's kind of cool, though. <laughs> right, let's see if we can steal anything from here. Can I not go through? Oh, you wasp! You wasp, come on, jeez. This is this is not good. Uh, battle axe. No, I can't cut that down. Let's just get rid of these. And for some reason, it makes me mine the block above what I'm mining. Very strange. I want a sheep, please. No, I don't. I want some wool. Wool, wool, wool. We've got steel axe. I'll actually take that. Um, and that's it. Sorry. <laughs> I see some sheep. I see some sheep. Where are my shears? What is going on? What is going on? I have sheep right here, and I need the wool, but where are my shears? This is so odd. So, so odd. I don't know what's going on. I put the shears on my back and my ultimate pickaxe in my backpack somehow. How did I manage that? <laughs> how did I manage that? At least I figured out how to get them back now. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea. Right. At least we solved that mystery. That's good. Uh, right. Where is a sheep? I think there's a sheep in here. Right. That's Oh, there's loads. Sheer me. Sheer me. Right. There we go. Sheer, sheer, sheer. Nice. Right. We got eight from you guys. Oh, jeez. Those are poisonous. Be careful. I think there's another sheep up here as well. Uh, is there a sheep up here? Hey, Mr. Sheep, how you doing, buddy? Um, actually, we might be able to get some of those creature cages. So, let's make a waypoint down here and put sheep central. And we might be able to grab ourselves some of those sheep from... Yeah, the creature cages, catch them, take them home, and then have an unlimited supply. So, let's get home, shall we? Right, all we need is one piece of iron, and then we should be able to make this. So, wool around the outside, and an ironing in the middle gives us 16 equipment cores. Which means, oh, dark matter shears, they sound pretty intense. Uh, man -kin. Right, we've got mannequin tool, and we've also got a mannequin, which needs one pumpkin... Three planks and an equipment cube. Now, I don't actually know if we have a pumpkin anywhere. Let me just do the classic search. We might have some seeds. Pumpkin. If not, we need to get a farm going as well. We've got so many jobs that we need to do. It's unreal. Can we craft the pumpkin? I don't know. We actually can. No, nope, that's the chisel. Okay, the chisel actually looks really fun. <laughs> uh, have we got a pumpkin? No. No. No, we have no pumpkins. I swear there was one out here, actually. There was! I might actually be able to use this one. Give me that. Nice. Can I use this? Where did it go? What is with all this stuff just popping off like this? Uh, let me see if I can use this. I need some wood as well. I have some wood. Uh, let me switch to mannequin. We need three woods. I've got two. Fantastic. That's amazing. There we go. There's some more. Okay, let's see if this works. We want one equipment cube in the middle. Like there. A pumpkin with an amazing face. And three of any kind of woods. I keep putting it in the wrong place. And it doesn't work. Um, woods. Does it have to be any... Maybe it's the pumpkin. I think it might be the pumpkin. 650. Yeah, it's the wrong kind of pumpkin. Can I make a chisel? Chisel. Let's have a look. Um, a chisel is one stick and an iron ingot. So I might be able to put it back to normal. So let's grab an iron ingot real quick. There we go. And let's make ourselves a chisel. Uh, there we go. No, it's a knife! Oh, jeez, I made the wrong thing. <laughs> there we go. Chisel. And then we should be able to plop down... Uh, we should be able to plop down the pumpkin. And then hopefully chisel it in the thing. Let's have a look. Shift and right click to open GUI. Left click to chisel blocks in the world. Okay, let's put this guy down. And then let's left click him. There we go. All right, click him. I have no idea. What am I doing? Uh, there we go. I want it to be a normal one. Nice. Okay, the chisel is actually really, really cool. And you can use it with tons of different blocks as well. So we're definitely going to get into that. But I just want to see if we can make this real quick. Mannequin! What's up, buddy? And we also need a mannequin thing. A uh, mannequin tool. Two equipment cubes, uh, a stick, hopefully. Yeah, an iron ingot and a piece of wood. I think I've got all that already. So one of those, two of those, uh, like that. Uh, an iron ingot? Jeez, I need to just keep loads of iron ingots on me. 
There we go, let's grab all this stuff. And then let's put two equipment cubes, one block of wood, piece of iron and a stick, and we've got a mannequin tool now. Give me this. There we go. Uh, it says save and load mannequin rotations, right click to apply settings, sneak and right click to save settings. We have ourselves a mannequin. Look at Steve. Look at him looking at us in his inventory. It's so weird. So weird. But anyway, guys, I am not going to mess around with the mannequin today. I have big plans for the mannequins, but we're going to have to save that for next time because we did a lot of cool things today. We visited the Zooniverse, which was awesome. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more Crazy Craft more than once a week, then please let me know by leaving a big fat thumbs up. I know you love this series, so please do show me. That would be awesome. And I'll do it like twice, maybe in three times a week, depending on how many likes we get. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, leave a thumbs up if you feel like being awesome. And if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, Please do consider subscribing to your own team at TDM today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye! Yeah.